Hey everyone, I'm Steven21967 and we are in subsistence. So, I just thought I'd take a break from playing The Infected. I've been playing that for like a couple weeks since the patch update for 5.0 came out. So now we're in subsistence, checking some things out. Yeah, we've been in November here. We're playing 365 days in a year, so I think we're about halfway through with November. And there's some things I hope to get done before the lakes freeze over. And one of those things I wanted to get done was to make sure that, um, was to get um, more of the crystal ore or crystals out of the uh, underwater cave because need those crystals for making things like grenades or not the grenades but making the arrows for grenades so you can either throw a grenade obviously or you can put it on you know on an arrow premium arrow to make a grenade tip arrow which can be pretty nice for um making sure that when you're throwing a grenade at a door at a hunter's base to like blow up uh, a supply uh, room that's locked that you can hit the door actually hit the door and you know not not end up being too far off because sometimes with those grenades even with the Molotov cocktails you can end up missing a part of the door and then the next thing you know, it's like uh, the door didn't only take took like glancing damage. You know what I mean? And then you're like, shoot, I just, you know, I crafted the stupid grenade, the Molotov. It wasn't accurate enough. And now I have a door that still has a ton of damage that I have to do to it to break it open. So... I uh, went down to the underwater cave like yesterday in the game and I didn't do a video about it or anything. Sometimes the stuff is super boring and I don't want to um, get too involved in showing the, the grind, the grindy stuff. I mean, I'll show you some of it, but it's got to have a purpose, you know. It's got to have a purpose to showing you the grind that when, I, when, when a day comes and I'm just doing a grind, there needs to be a reason for it. So anyway, I made a bunch of grenade tip arrows and I thought, you know, it was it was like a day or two ago that I last raided the hunter's fortress and I don't want to hit it up. I don't want to hit it again so soon. I have no idea how long it takes for the hunters to resupply their fortress, but in case it takes some time. I thought that I would, uh, you know, I'd give them a few days, you know, three to f three to five days to to uh, restock their supply. And while I was doing that, I thought, you know, I need some action. I just need a little something, something exciting. Because I know sometimes these videos get a little bit tedious. Especially when we're just building something. I mean, it depends. Watching a build is fun, but uh, action is also fun. <laughs> action is a lot of fun. So I thought that there were supposed to be some bandits over here. And I wanted to try something out, but I need to get the bandits. Let me check down there. Okay, that's a wolf. That's not what I want. So I happen to have, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to tell you in just a little bit if we can spot these bandits. I checked last night in the map, and I think the map is great. I think every game like this needs to have a map where you have the ability to kind of track others in the game. You see what they're doing
Okay, I don't know if he's given up or if he's still there. But I wanted to try something. Oh! Oh, Christ. I hit him. I hit him with a freaking grenade. I hit him with a grenade and he's still alive. <laughs> Come on, Ramblo. Ah. Oh. I think he was all alone. I don't see any of his buddies here. There. He should be okay. Um, I have no clue, no clue how much hit points these guys have. But I hit him with a freaking grenade tip arrow. And that stuff does like freaking 200, maybe 300, not quite 300, but probably 200 minimum, minimum to maybe 250 damage to like a steel door. And... And that did like nothing to him. I mean, I, I mean, it did something to him, but it should have, he should have got blown to bits, I think. Okay, so he didn't get blown to bits. But let's go do something, all right? I want to know how much, I, I mean, I want to see what these grenade tip arrows do to the, you know, to the animals in the game. So. We checked it out. We tested it out on one of the hunters. It didn't. It didn't one shot him, but it certainly did knock him back. I mean, we had to hit him with like two freaking arrows. That's like 40 points an arrow with this bow, with the recurve bow. A regular arrow, which is what I was shooting, is is about 40 points. And I think that's a brown bear. No, that's not a brown bear. All right, let's make sure we don't have anything sneaking up on us. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to a 180 point brown bear when we hit him with this. Ah! Oh! oh, damn, it only took like 100 points. Oh, he's gotta be pissed. Oh, oh he's gotta be pissed. He's got to be pissed from that. We took like a hundred points off of him. I mean, that freaking grenade will take easily, easily 200 points off the door. I mean, the grenade would take 200 points at least. The grenade tip arrow would take about 200 points. And that like, that was like a hundred points. That's all it was. I mean... I don't know. I got. I got. I gotta like. I gotta like state my complaint. <laughs> there's there's something clearly wrong. I mean that that bear is not that bear as tough as a bear is, isn't a steel door, and if a steel door takes at least 200 points from the grenade tip arrow, then the bear should should be have been one shot, and that's probably what should have happened to that guy, um, to that hunter. He should have um, got blown. You know, he should have been like blown to bits. He should have died immediately. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna I mean, we're we're out here. Let's go have a little fun. We we got. I don't know if I want to keep using my grenade. Keep wasting my grenade tip arrows. They seem to be like only most effective on metallic objects, and not on the living things in the game. Nope. Yep. We got a wolf somewhere. I can hear him. We're okay. We're not gonna. We're not gonna shoot him. I've 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 already got I already got a ton of bear meat. So I'm not going to. Uh, I don't I don't feel a need to shoot 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 the uh, that wolf that was following us. I want to find I want to find. 
a um, a moose. And I know you're saying like, well, don't you know that it does only like 100 damage? If that's all it does to like the animals, then don't let, waste your time with the moose because it's going to do 100 points of damage. The moose is either A, he's either A going to run and you have to chase him down anyway, or B, he's going to turn and run toward you. And a second, a second, um, grenade tip arrow is not going to finish him off. You know, it's not going to finish him off. And that's right. It's definitely not going to finish him off. I'd still have to probably pull out the shotgun and hope to hell that I can, uh, get a couple shots off before he, before he gets me. Yep. I want to eat some more. Yeah, let's just eat some more of these berries. Probably just have eaten the whole thing. Alright, we got berries. We got that stuff. It's good. We got water. Oh, we got some matches. That's nice. Alright. Yeah, we're not good. I, I, I need to get some sinew. Because I'm getting a little bit low. And I want... Um, you know, I, I want to uh, make rope. I'm thinking about the different things that I can do that I want to do before winter comes. Certain things I want to get completed before uh, ammunition casings. Okay, hold on a sec here. Alright, we're just going to eat you. Like it or not. There you go. Yeah, I'll take them. One ammunition case and I'm not going to complain. Good. I don't know. I got two. I got two of them on me. You guys want to go? Uh, want to go raid the small bandit camp? We, we we could go after the big one. I think I got enough bullets. I think I got. I think I got enough on me right now that we could go in there and raid it. To make sure I got a. Uh, I got armor on. We could do it. I mean, it's only been a couple of days, so why not? Why not for kicks and giggles? Go ahead and do it. Although, I think I'm going to have to empty my bags because I got way too much stuff. But, um, actually, we don't have a breaching charge to break the door down. Okay, that's some scrap metal. Okay, my bags are a little bit full capped out on scrap metal so let's go ahead back to the base go empty things out yeah I, I need if we're gonna go up to the fortress I need a breaching charge because otherwise it's gonna take like a ton of time to break down the door and that's just too much time you know it's, this video has been going 13 minutes long I thought I thought it was kind of fun to just kind of hit those guys with the grenade tip arrows just to see what kind of happens so I think I think I'll just at this point I'll just kind of stop the video and you know if you guys like it please give me a thumbs up you know subscribe get the notification bell you get alerts when new videos my new videos come out and yeah so that's it I'll be doing more subsistence videos definitely going to be doing more fortress raids because those are fun i really do enjoy those and that's it for this video guys okay see you in the next video dudes later dudes